Hi, in this video I will show you how to put together this 3D witchy pumpkin, which is an SVG file from Simply Crafty SVGs. You can see it's cute without a tea light. And then that's a close-up of the hat with the bat. So these are the pieces for the witchy pumpkin. Um, what you see in the uh, vanilla are actually the black pieces. So I already had them, I actually have the black pieces as well. But to show you assembly, most of the assembly, I'm going to use the um, vanilla pieces as it's easier for people to see. I've gotten feedback on um, different videos that the black is hard to see, so I'm just trying to change that up. So some of it I've already done, but I'll show you when we get to that part. So we have the pieces, the panels, and the pieces for the actual head, pumpkin head, and then the we have the couple pieces for the hat, and then um, this is for the pumpkin. And this is a base that holds the candle. So it'll hold a candle down there, so you just place it on there. It's an optional piece, you, you can always just put it under. So you'll see. So we have that. So what we'll start with is the, let's see, let's go ahead and do the the hat. No, we, we also have some small pieces with a little bat, something to put on the hat. So we'll start with the um, black pieces. So let's go ahead and I was going to do the face, but let's go ahead and do this. So the first thing we want to do is the top. So this is the top. So we can go ahead and you see I put the panels on it all but one. So they fit perfectly on there. So what you want to do is go ahead and just fold this. And it's kind of hard to see the score lines on this. So you'll have to look at it closely. I'm just doing them lightly so I can get them started. So you want to go ahead and score it like this. So this is meant to be like a luminary, just something to light up or display. And then we have this little side tab here too. So the actual putting together is going to be just gluing it like that, which is pretty simple. But before we do that, you want to put the panels on. And also fold all these. So what you should be doing before you put it together is put it together like this. Put the panels on because it's easier flatter so they each fit on here. So this, and I'm using my American, I mean art uh, glitter glue. You just can go ahead and start from one side and put light glue down to glue your panels on. So I'm not going to have panels on that one because it's obviously not the final one. There's no need to show you that detail. And so just line it up on the bottom, just go up. So you see, I'm just the final one, I'm just going to glue like that. So I'll show you on this one, and then I'll do it on the other one as well probably overkill, but just in case somebody has a hard time seeing it. So what's handy is to have like a wooden chopstick or something like that to be able to put behind this tab to apply pressure. So we're just going to line that edge up. Remember to just put all the panels on first. And then when it comes to that getting pressure up here to get it closer. Use that to close it up. So that will be the actual one. What we'll also want to do is when we fold the, these tabs, we want to fold in and out to train them out because we will be gluing the brim of the hat to these like this. So it'll be flat. So just show you one more time with this vanilla version. Just putting glue on this side tab, then just lining it up. So 
So lining this edge up. And it helps if you have really good crease on all your folds. Then I'm just going to reach inside with my wooden chopstick and apply pressure. So you can't get, because of that sharp corner, it helps to get that sharpness in the corner. So you can see why we put the panels on first. So again, just training these back. So I always fold them naturally that way, and then mountain fold and then valley, mountain, valley, mountain because, because the fold goes up and valley because the fold is in. And if you're not glued all the way there, then that will pull up a little bit. So just be aware to watch that. So now we can take this piece, and there's a little tab on the side there. I'm just kind of training it with my fingertips here. So remember this will be black, so I'll do the other one. I'm only going to show you in, the, in vanilla though. I'll do the other one after, off camera. So you're going to line that up. You really don't really have to fold it that much. And you can put it towards the back once it's finished. So you'll, what I try to do is find the other tab and match it up. So wherever, so I'll put it like that. And we'll end up gluing it like that. So you can't do it really flat because it's got a curve to it. So I'm just gonna add glue to one tab here. So that's the left, the left of the seam. Let me go like this. And just line this inside edge to the tab fold. And there you go. So the other thing that I do when it comes to that, so you want to make sure that's good and anchored. I like to do the opposite one. So if you look underneath, take the opposite tab, just to anchor it in place in the middle. We'll get it in place. And obviously it will be black or if you choose to do like a purple, it depends on, I think that would be a fun pumpkin in a kind of a black base, the face, and then the rest may be a different color hat. So there's a different colors that you can change. So I'm going to add glue to three of the tabs on one side, and then I'll do the other three after that. So I got some of my fingertips. So I have a little damp paper towel just in case. Doesn't help to clean off the glue tip every once in a while. So I'm just going to go around, just flip each under, and at the same time making sure that that edge meets up and we get it pretty snug because we don't want a gap there. So you want to get glue pretty close to that top part without it coming through. Then we go ahead and we'll get the other three. Again, I'm making sure that I get close to the fold with glue. And then we'll do the same that we just did with the other three tabs. So 
So I'm going to put something around the edge anyways. Um, of course this is not the final one, so. So that's what it looked like. And then, um, assuming that's on there after you're done, um, you can, you know, embellish around there if you wanted to. And you want to do this before you put it on because it will be glued onto the top of the uh, pumpkin. So, and then we have this last piece that'll go under here. So you can start, start at this edge. And get it lined up with one of the the edges here sections start there and all we're doing is covering all this is doing is covering the um, the tabs we're just cleaning it up so when if you look underneath you won't be able to see them so you could put a different color if you want but you're really not going to see it once it's on I mean, you can put the glue on this too, so I'm just going to do that just to show you can do it. And just keep on going around following each edge. So the benefit of putting on this is that um, you'll get full coverage where this, you won't know how far to go really. So let me just go continue that. You can see we just keep on going around so until it matches the other side. So it's just to cover those tabs to clean it up. So and this is kind of the my first version of it, so you can see. So you could add some twine around it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do on this one. Um, so if you don't cover it, this is what it, it kind of looks like that because that was one of my test ones. But um, what it will happen is, here's one the test one, it'll be glued onto here. So right now I had it unglued because I was working on it, but that's what it will look like. So you can see that you won't really see underneath. So that's that. So let me go ahead and finish the, the real one, the black one, and then we'll move on to uh, maybe piecing together the little top hat piece and I'm going from there. So I just wanted to get some pop-up dots here. So this is just this is just the same paper as the the panels on the pumpkin. So you could always change it up. And this, so let's go ahead and piece together this little bat. So I made it quite simple. What we're going to want to do is see if I have the, I'm going to ink around the edges, kind of a dark black soot. I usually have this ready, but I'm going to just use this. I'm just going to do the edge of this because it else it will be seen on the side. So. I'm just making sure you don't get the front of it where the eyes are. So the eyes are at the top. It's just to make it dark so from the side you can't see the yellow as much. So we're going to go ahead and just layer this on top of that. I'm making sure that the uh, that we have the texture side up. just that I haven't done a whole lot of bats. I actually have a couple bat themed things right now. I'm just going to put it on here. We just put, we only put an eye that it was so small that when I put the mouth, which I did the first time, it doesn't cut out very well, but the eyes cut out well with most machines. So I want to make sure it works for most machines. So you see just inking the sides kind of toned down that yellow so you can't see it. And just place it right on top of the 
And if you want, you could we could do a little curve on the bats. So I'm just using a stylus just to curl it so you can see it from a top to curl it or if you want it to go back however you want to do it but I'm just, we'll just give it a little dimension by pulling it up like that and then we'll go ahead and either gonna pop that up I think we're gonna pop that up we'll just glue this directly on it and you can see I already inked the edge of this just to tone down the yellow a little bit It's the same sides. It has the same amount of sides as that background kind of uh, sunburst type thing is. And then what we're going to do is I'll just pop one of these pop dots, or maybe two of them, to pop it. Looks like it's one. One's going to be it. If you do use those and it's going to be long term, you might want to add a dot of glue. I tend to do that because I don't feel like the adhesive's enough. I don't want it falling off. But that's just me. So I don't really care. I'll put the point up. So then that can go on the hat. So I may add something around it. So if we right there but I think I may put something on the edge there but you can do it either way if you want to do it facing the front you can do that um, so one of these pieces so find the front which I decided was this one where I put the bat and then I'll put it right there but I think I'm going to add something below that but you can also just pop it up right there see that that just glue it on so that's done, so let's go ahead and work on the, the actual body, or the face I should say. So we have these pieces, and they're in order, and I'll show you. This is the bottom piece, which is opened. So these are in order, what I would start with is the solid ones, so all the solid ones are the same size. size. So you have that, the left of the face, the middle of the face, and then the right of the face, and this is the middle bottom. Okay, All the rest are the same size, so if I line them up, they're all the same size. Okay, but we're going to want to start with one solid, so we'll start with a solid, do that, 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 and then the rest of the solids. So, and the reason we do that is if for some reason you have trouble gluing that last edge, it's not as noticeable from the front because a lot of people struggle with the last closing up the box. So that's the reason why I, I do it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and fold them. So you want to go and find the uh, squares. So I'll show you how this big one is. So let me move those so it's not as distracting. There's no, you'll have to look for it. I believe there's no score on that one. My score lines are very light. But scoring helps. So typically there would be a score there, but we just put the tabs further apart so it'd be easier for you to glue it. So all those are going to be like that. So I'll do that shortly. And then these will go from the right hand side. This doesn't have as many scores because we have a face there, the openings. So we're just right there. So I would do this first just to have it done. And I believe there's no scores on this because I didn't want it to interfere with the face. I need to score for the, so that goes like that. just so you can see see what it looks like. So most of the scores on this are towards the bottom and we have a couple tabs that we have to deal with. 
So that's it. So I'll score the rest of these and we'll start putting it together. Or score, tab, that's fold I should say. Okay, now that we have them scored, let's put them in order. So we're going to start with one solid. And if you're new to this, first of all, keep your glue bottle clean. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. For this one, I felt like going from the bottom to the top was the best. And the reason why is at the top, we're going to be gluing on the hat. So you won't see if it's not, not perfectly lined up. So if you try to line it up on the bottom, and plus all the scores are on the bottom. So make sure you have the left side of the, the face to a solid one. We're going to line this up. You want to line this up so the score lines match up. Then we're just going to anchor that one tab. So you normally go from top to bottom, but this one I felt like because it's so important to get some of these matched up. Um, you'll see it's a little different with the face. So I'm going to add glue to a couple tabs. If I get glue on the body a little bit, as, as long as you use tabs, um, I mean panels, then it doesn't matter because the panels will cover it. Most of it. Let me just say that. So we're just going to continue lining it up, and I like to put my my finger where the seam is, where the edge meets, meets the edge of the tab fold, just to make sure they're lined up. And then you can flip it around. I mean, you don't have to do it up and down like that. Just do what's ever comfortable in your hand. So for those that are familiar with this type of design, you're just going to go around, but you just have to be careful about lining up the tabs for the front of the middle of the face. So if you want to watch a little bit further, you'll see I'll really focus on making sure that the tabs are lined up so the openings match up well, the cutout face. So I'm just continuing, lining it up best I can. And then you can see that's what it looks like on the other side. So yeah, you'll see the tabs a little bit in the inside, but it's it's darker in the inside, so if you're doing this in the dark, you're not going to see these tabs. So if it's lit up. So now we have the middle piece. So this you can, we don't have the, we have the bottom piece, which is pretty easy. We're just going to glue it right here, so let's do the bottom piece first. get that lined up. So you can line up that top right here, the edge of the mouth. Make sure that lines up. So you see I'm just getting that tip to make sure it looks like a, a smile or open mouth. What do you, still? It's not going to be that noticeable if you're a little bit off. Here, what I would do is start here. And we want to put, I would put glue on all three tabs at once. So we can do adjustment if we need to. So we want to get as close to the edge as possible. And each of these tabs are are shaped the way they are so they don't interfere with the openings. So what we want to focus in when you get to the face in the tabs, the solid tabs you want to go from bottom to top, but this one we can start at the bottom so we're just going to make sure that this lines up. 
I'm just doing it lightly first and then that lines up see that opening the eye opening So this is a bit of a challenge for me because I haven't done, I mean I've done a couple of these with the openings, but it's always a challenge to get them to match up well and go together. So if it's a little bit off, it's not going to be that noticeable, so don't kick yourself if there's something kind of like off a little bit. It's crafting and crafting is fun, so keep it fun. <laughs> So you can see that half the face coming together. And it may be like a smidgen off on that one right there, but you can barely even tell. And then here, same thing. We are going to start at the bottom, but really when we get to those top tabs, we'll just match them up again to make sure that they line up correctly. So we're just going to line it up. So this is the only exception, these panels so we can get the openings matched up. So you want that top edge lined up really well. I got a little bit of glue right there, but that's okay because we'll have a panel. If you didn't have want to have panels, you need to be really careful with glue. So some people might just want to make it without the panels because you can still do that. And if you wanted to just make a full pumpkin, uh, just a regular pumpkin, you could just replace three of these with um, three more of these and make just a full pumpkin. If that's what you want to do, there would be no face, but you could always add your face by putting it on top. So there's other things you can do with it. So only a couple more places to match up and the rest of it is just gluing the sides together. To me this is the, probably the most picky other than the panels a little bit, but the panels aren't really that bad once you do one. The face ones are the ones that you have to pay attention to. So the same thing, I just got this lined up, and then we're going to go ahead and line up this top one. And then we'll get that. So that's what it looks like in the inside. So you want to get that good and secure before you move on to the next. So now I'm just going to continue adding these just like I did the first. So these now, oops, let's start at the bottom. Just continue starting at the bottom. and I'll do two tabs now. So as you go on it get it gets easier. Let's do another third one. So you can do multiple tabs at once, but it, um, do whatever you're comfortable doing. So we still, you know, the idea is to anchor that bottom section first, get it lined up, and then move on. Like it, again, if it's off just a little bit at the top, we don't care because we're not going to see it. We're going to have a hat glued on the top. So if you do multiples like this, move around your hand until it's comfortable. Make sure the previous tabs are glued on well and then you can just kind of gently lift to put the rest of the to glue the rest of the tabs. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this and I'm going to get I'm going to come back when we're to the part where we're closing. So the rest of this is going to go a little faster cuz it's repetitive. And then um, I always like to show people how to close them up because that's a challenge.
but so now we're to the closing so you can see it's just the same it essentially will be the same putting this together but just some people just find it a little challenging putting this last piece together so you can see how I'm kind of holding it apart and you can kind of let it fall where it may um, so you could if it's easier to get that one I mean if you want to match up that first because it's straight on or you want to do the bottom one it's up to you like this is pretty it's landing exactly where it needs to go so maybe I start with that one or you can go from bottom to top like I've been doing well and that's what the beauty of having those um, scored lines are is to help place it a little bit better so I mean originally I did it without the scores and um, based on some feedback I I was kind of toying without using it but this makes it way easier because I've done a couple without them Oops, sorry about that so I did that one first if you didn't see it because I can't see whether it was on there then I did that one I'm going to the third and then I'm going to the fourth here making sure it's lined up so when it gets to this you kind of have to eyeball it move it in place unfortunately we can still reach in and apply pressure so we only have this last piece so you can either try to reach in and pull, holding there's two more left there or you can carefully pull it up like that and reach in with the fine tip applicator or you can reach all the way in underneath so if you want to you can also reach in there and do it that way so to me it's easier from the side it's just carefully pulling it up and pushing it down to get coverage of glue that's the benefit of having a fine tip applicator like this Get those last two I put a little bit too much glue so that one was just a little bit off on the top so remember I said we start with um, this one and that one whoops uh, the reason is is that at one point this could be probably the it's not the wonkiest some people are better than others but I have very short short fingers so I can't reach in that far I go from here do that way so you have to figure out what works for you So there's the body of it, and I have glue on my fingertips, so I'm going to wipe that off and get it off my finger. And then we'll go ahead and we'll put the panels on next. Okay, so this is what happens when you videotape and you uh, you think you're videotaping, you didn't. So. I normally wouldn't do this, I'd normally just remake everything, but it takes so long to remake this. Um, I'm basically going to show you how to put these panels on. So you're seeing me in a place that looks horrible, but it's going to look fine when it's done. But I want to show you how to put the panels on. And um, So anyways, let me just put that out of view for now. So you see I have a couple panels already done. So what I did is basically curl them. Curl just the bottom. Because as you can see, this just can fit right there. And the same thing with the face ones. So again, normally I wouldn't do a video like this, but this happens to everybody at one point. Um, I just didn't have the videotape rolling. So anyways, um, I already have this piece on too. So this one I just curl a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put on... Um, the face panels actually let's put one of these solid panels on first so let's go ahead and since I thought I recorded it so here are the face panels we'll put those on in a moment so these are all pre-curled so you just want to add glue to the bottom and the top for these big ones so we don't really need, you could always put a little bit, but it's just going to kind of, the 
bulge out like that. We want to st start at the bottom. And the reason is you can match it up. And then the top, like I said before, you want to get this lined up. It'll go up to the part right above it where we'll glue on the hat. So you just kind of have to make sure it's somewhat straight. And then just hold it down there. So I know the face looks like super ugly. So those are easy. So um, it, it looks bad, I know that. But we're just gonna show you the technicality of putting it on. It's gonna hide most of what you see. So the same thing, you're gonna start at the bottom. You're gonna go up. And there's gonna be a little, we wanna leave a little bit of space so you can see the orange around the, the edge of the mouth and the eyes. So as you can see, it's hiding most of what was kind of ugly underneath when I tore off the old ones. Like I said, mostly um, I would redo the whole thing, but that takes a while to put together. So for this, we're gonna put a little glue around the edge of everything. And then up here, I'm just gonna thin out the glue at this little tip. I'm gonna show you how to put this on. So we're gonna start at the bottom, but I'm just going to anchor it very lightly, okay? And we wanna kinda of line it up. So we're gonna line this up. I'm gonna just let that go loose. I'm gonna come up here. I wanna line this edge up to the fold. And you can see that we're getting an edge around here. And then the same thing, I'm lining this right to the fold here. So we add a little bit more glue to the facial pieces so they won't bulge out around the areas, around the mouth and the eyes. And if a part comes up, like a lot, you can always go ahead and slide some more glue in there and get it sitting down. So if we, just right there. So whatever looks good to you. So you can see it's looking better, right? Now that I have that, the bad part covered. So I already have the bottom piece on, so it just lined up like this. And it's almost identical, as you can see. Almost, the cut's identical. <laughs> and here's the top. So there's not much curve to it. So what we're gonna do, put it correctly first. So I'm gonna show you. We wanna line up that edge over there as much as we can close to it. And also lining it up on the right hand side. So when we put the last panel on, it'll line up. So we're just gonna go ahead, you can see I'm just gonna add a little glue almost around the whole thing. And the nose a little bit. You just want light, because this is a pretty small piece. So let's focus on this line first, right there. So I'm just adjusting it as I get it on there. And then you can adjust it over here. And then we can reach inside. And unfortunately, due to the, uh, the fold, the extra space for the fold, it's a little bit, it's not close to the edge as I want it to be but that's okay. So we have to get the last piece. So here's the last piece. And similar, we have it curved down here. Then we're gonna go ahead and add glue on this bottom piece. I'm just gonna outline the areas. So 
So if there's a little gap there, that's okay too. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to line it up on the bottom. So the ugliness is going away now that I'm covering it. You kind of can see it falls into place, but we're just going to go down here, feed it up a little bit. Then line that up so you can see how it lines up. So I'm just making sure that it's adhered. And you can see there's a little bit of gap right there, but it's not bad. So better than it was. Now I have a couple tear marks from when I tore it off earlier. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ink it a little bit. But at least I can get this on um, film so I can show you how to put this on because that was a critical part of this project. So the rest of them I'm just going to put the last two. I had an extra one because I recut out the other pieces. And then we'll put this bottom piece on um, after we get these two panels on. So typically like I said, in assembly, I would do it like this. I would do the whole thing again. Um, so I did ink around the eyes a little bit to hold, see, to hide some of the blemishes. There's one right here that's a little bit off. So if this ever happens to you, for some reason you get not not that you didn't videotape, but something doesn't go right, you can try to gently pull the panels off. I don't um, claim to be perfect, so. This is, you're seeing my imperfection and in process here. But um, the other thing you could always do, if you ever have an issue like this, the other thing you can do is um, put part of a panel over if you wanted to. So anyways, there's there's ways to, to uh, salvage something. I wasn't sure, like that, without redoing it. So I guess that's my, my point here. So I'm probably gonna, at the, be, the very end or before I get this done I'm going to ink these edges a little bit just to hide this white because it's printed uh, digital paper and that is just a crazy I'm not sure if I do it in that pattern again but it, it kind of it's, it's different so let's go ahead and put this bottom piece on so despite um, my issues. If you do like this project, um, if you could go ahead and give me a little like below and or follow my YouTube um, channel and you'll be, if you hit that little notification bell to the right, you'll be notified when we have new videos. So, so to put this on, let's go ahead and anchor just one tab. So we're just going to go ahead and add glue to one tab and I'm going to start at the front and I'm carefully anchoring anchoring it. So I'm just lining this edge up to the fold of that tab. Then you can try to do them all at once. Just be careful of the face. Don't pull on anything. Um, I'm just going to add glue to a couple tabs. You can do them all at once or you can do part of them. So we'll just go part way around. It's easier to add them all at once, but we can always lift it gently and add glue to the remaining tabs. So we'll do this many because I'm satisfied those that will stay wet long enough. What's nice about this, we can lift in and line it up as we're going around. So with this pumpkin, there's two ways you can put a, to light it up, so let's go ahead and finish this up. As I'm putting glue on, I'll explain. You could just put it over a battery operated tea light or um, candle, like directly, because there's a hole in the bottom, because you know, that's kind of a typical 
well, for me, the jack and lanterns I don't always have. I sometimes put a hole in the bottom. But some people just have the lid come off. But depends what kind of uh, carving you do. So go like this. And the reason I'm doing the last part because it's kind of optional. So do the best. That one just didn't line up quite right, but it's fine. So there it is. So before I put the, the hat on, you could do it like this. So here's a, here's a battery operated candle. You could just do that and you wouldn't have to. You can't see it, I, I get. So it would be like this. So you can do it like that and just put it underneath it. Or you can use this little holder. So this, and this is a, can't remember what size it is, but two inch diameter. So it's a two inch diameter. So it'll fit a this larger one or just a smaller tea light. So what this does is that it's situated right and it kind of sits up off the table. So um, let me show you sideways. It's kind of hard to... So you see how it goes in like that? It holds a candle. So that's this. So I kind of like that because it's kind of raised up. Um, but it's not, it's an optional. So but to put that together, let me show you how to put that together if you want to use it. So it's the way I kind of made the file. So I already made the black version which is the version we're going to use, but here's the version that I'll show you how to put together. So we just need to fold it. You can see all the tabs. I think I just changed the tab side since I cut, cut this. The tabs on the bottom so they line up a little bit better, but it goes together just the same. So you're going to line this up. Line this edge up to this and glue the tab on the inside. And then the same thing we did on the on the bottom of the pump pin. We're just going to attach one of the tabs. So anchor one tab. Then just add glue to all the other tabs. So I try to do things a little bit different every single time I do something that's similar. It's not that this is any different than maybe a couple 3D designs out there, but it was my own flavor of it. So, so I try to find something different to do. I kind of like the raised designs like this. It's like our hovering witch hat. Um, you could put a little, you could put treats in it instead of a, if you wanted to give it to somebody as a gift. So we're just lining these up. Let's stop talking for a second. So you're just going around and lining that, the end of the panel up with each edge. Then once you kind of have it set by lightly rubbing, you can go ahead and reach in and apply pressure. So it really is just a functional piece. So that's it. And of course here's the, the black version of it. But you could actually use this. You could do you could actually put a couple treats in there, give that as a gift. And then on the side give them a candle as well. Or um, put a little tea light in with it. So that's just a thought. So the last thing we need to do is just attach the hat. And I don't like it in the way, so um, I didn't want to put it on while we're maneuvering. So I want it to be a certain way I, based on the way I embossed it. So I'm going to just put it on right there. And you can see it just is just going to glue on to the orange part. So the easiest way to do that. You don't have to go all the way down, so just add glue just right above, a little bit above the panel. Looks like about a quarter to half an inch. 
because we just want it to get stuck there. We don't want it to. We don't want it to to come down and show underneath. So make, make sure I have the front. I'm going to verify the way I want it. I'm looking for a certain embossing that I did. It's right there with the bat in the front. I'm just going to put it on as straight as possible. And you could reach in and apply pressure because we have that bottom. See, there's the benefit of not having something go in the top. Oops, that's not so of course I put it on wrong. There we go. So multiple bloopers today. I had my share of them yesterday too. So there it is. That's the finished pumpkin. It's kind of strange looking, I get it, <laughs> with that pattern. Oh, but I have a couple versions, so I have the this other version too. So we're gonna we just haven't added the I'm going to add a bit, little bit more embellishment and also don't forget to add this piece. And see this is bat paper, you can't really see, so I have bat embossing folder and bat paper. So there you go. I hope you enjoy this project. Um, it was a bit of a challenge for me for this one, not just the assembly, but uh, some of the technical pieces of opening this up, believe it or not, it's a little bit more difficult than it appears to be. So. Anyways, thank you for watching and until next time.